If we encounter a problem similar to this one, we can solve it using the systems of linear equation. This is a word problem that involves chicken and rabbit. Systems of linear equation. Let us first define what is linear equation. A linear equation is also called a first degree equation since the greatest power on the variable is 1. Let's have some examples. 2x plus 5 is equal to 6. The highest exponent involved in this equation is 1 since the exponent of our x is 1. Another example is 3y equals 5. The exponent of y is 1. 5x plus 3 is equal to 28. The exponent of x is 1. Another examples are 2x plus 3y equals 80 and 5x minus 3y is equal to 20. Even though it involves more than one variable, it is still a linear equation because the highest degree is still 1. Another example is it involves three variables, but the variable still has one as the highest exponent. So we can still consider this as linear equation. So the left column is what we called linear equations in one unknown. It is called one unknown because we are only solving for the value of one variable. While on the other hand, we have linear equations in two or more unknown because it involves two or more variables. For this specific example, we have two variables. And for this specific example, we are solving for three variables. Now, the graph of a linear equation is a straight line. That is the reason why it is called linear equation from the root word line. So if you saw a graph similar to this one, which is a graph of a parabola, or a graph that is similar to this one, which has a lot of curves, it means that it is not a linear equation because the graph of a linear equation should be a straight line similar to the first three graphs that we have here. Solving linear equations. We can solve linear equations in one unknown or two or more unknowns. But let's start with linear equation in one unknown. So our example here is 2x plus 3x plus 5 is equal to 20. We can solve this one using simplification. We need to simplify first the equation. 2x plus 3x, that is 5x. So we have 5x plus 5 is equal to 20. Now we need to separate the one that has variable, which is 5x. So in order for us to do that, we need to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. Subtracting 5 from both sides of the equation will give us 5x is equal to 15. We are solving for the value of x. Since we have a numerical coefficient which is 5, we need to cancel that one by dividing both sides by 5. Dividing both sides by 5 will give us the value of x which is 3. Now let's proceed in linear equation in two variables. So our given is x plus y is equal to 15 and 2x plus y is equal to 25. In order to solve this, we have different ways. And I present you two methods which are the substitution method and the elimination method. We can also use some matrix, matrix like ghost jordan or the raw echelon form but we will focus on these two methods first. By substitution method, we have x plus y is equal to 15. And then that is our first equation. We need to solve for the value of y. So in solving for the value of y, we just subtract x from both sides of the equation. So if we subtract x, we will have y is equal to 15 minus x. Now, our second equation is 2x plus y is equal to 25. Since our value of y is 15 minus x, it becomes 2x plus 15 minus x is equal to 25. 
Simplifying this one, we have 2x minus x, that is x. And then, we have 15 is equal to 25. So, 25 minus 15, our x is equal to 10. Now that we have a value of x, we can solve for the value of y. x plus y is equal to 15. So, if our x is equal to 10, we have 10 plus y is equal to 15. y now is equal to 15 minus 10. So, y is equal to 5. Now, by elimination method, we have the two equation, x plus y equals 15 and 2x plus y equals 25. If we subtract the two equation, it will cancel our y. So, x minus 2x, we have negative x. And 15 minus 25, we have negative 10. y is not included because it will already cancel. So, negative x is equal to negative 10. If we are solving for the value of x, we have 10. We just multiply this equation by negative 1. If x is equal to 10, we will use the first equation. x plus y is equal to 15. So, 10 plus y is equal to 15. Therefore, our y will be 5. Now, let us go back in our first problem. In the yard, there are chickens and rabbits. Together, they had 19 heads and 48 legs. How many chickens and how many rabbits were in the yard? So first is we need a variable representation. So we let R be our rabbits and C our chickens. According to our problem, we have a total of 19 heads. So if we add R and C, it should be equal to 19. And we have the number of legs. Rabbits has four legs. And chicken has two legs. So we have 4R plus 2C is equal to 48. Now, we can solve this using elimination method. If we multiply our first equation by negative 2, we will cancel C. So R plus C is equal to 19 times negative 2. So, we have negative 2R minus 2C is equal to negative 38. Again, we just multiply R plus C is equal to 19 by negative 2. And then, we copy the second equation. If we add these two equations, we will have 2R is equal to 10. Because negative 2R plus 4R, that is 2R, our C will cancel and negative 38 plus 48 is equal to 10. Solving for the value of R, we have R is equal to 5. We just divide both sides of the equation by 2. Now, R plus C is equal to 19. Since we have already the value of R, which is 5, we substitute we, that's why we have 5 plus C is equal to 19. So, therefore, our C is equal to 14. So, the answer for this problem is there are 5 rabbits and 14 chickens.